going on? This is Sevi from Kennedy Club. Glam blah, 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 blah. Where you start that? Hey everyone, this is Sevi from Kennedy Club Gaming, and I thought I'd play a little bit of a game called Receiver. If you haven't heard anything about this game, um, it's been out for a while now, but it's a game where you control every aspect of the gun. Show you the uh, some of the uh, controls right here. So every aspect of it, from ejecting the magazine, pulling the hammer back, loading it, you have to do all of those things. So, you can check and see, alright, so we've got a few rounds, holster it, make sure we have plenty of ammo in our magazine. Uh, and then put the magazine back in, and we've already got one in the chamber. Pull the hammer back, and we are ready to go. Alright, so, from what I've been able to play so far, uh, I've played a little bit of it. I'm not great at the game, but you see one of those little flying drones right there. They like to take you out in one hit. Like that. I said, not great at the game, but... So, they take it out in one hit. You also have uh, turrets that have different parts to them, like a battery, a camera, and the gun itself. So, uh, there are different things you can shoot at, try and take them out. Um, so, you got to load the magazine. I like to try and keep a full magazine. So, what I like to do is just go ahead and take everything out. That one's almost fully loaded, so probably do that. Load up that one all the way. And probably load up this one as much as I can. And then load up that one last. And we'll take this one, put that one in the gun, and then kind of move them up so it's a little bit easier to, to get to. So, started this time, you typically start with three different guns from what I've seen. It uh, looks like a Glock, a 1911, and then a revolver is the last type of gun that I've seen. Uh, yeah. So, accidentally pulled ejected one. So, do that, put this back in. So, each gun has something special about it. The thing about this one is you see it's got a fully auto and a semi-auto mode with the Glock. Uh, and this time I was lucky enough to start off with a flashlight. And we're trying to find these tapes, and these tapes tell a story. Some receivers believe the message but are unable to hear the source themselves. We have developed a mind tech called Clear Tape to aid in your receiving. Your subconscious mind has been eroded by dangerous, addictive media. To wean you from this addiction, we will trick your mind using its conditioned response to your advantage. By providing the correct external cues, Clear Tape provides a way to reduce the symptoms of media damage. You will have been issued a Clear Tape. Put the tape into your tape deck and press play. At first, it is normal to hear only background static. After several sessions, you may hear a voice. So, there are 11 tapes in here. Let me move this over real fast. And move that down there real quick. So, now you should be able to see I've got one of 11 tapes. From what I've noticed so far, the tapes seem to be fairly randomly generated uh, somewhere on this map. I don't know if the map is the same throughout it all because the farthest I've gotten is about two or three tapes before I've been killed. So, I think I got that turret. So like I've said, you can kind of see this one's got uh, the camera, the ammo spot from the gun, and then on the back is the battery. So, shoot the camera, it stops following, shoot that, it won't shoot, and shoot the battery, and it just kind of all goes down. So, um, 
like I said, you really don't have much of a HUD. The only thing you've got in this one is you can hit this and then see all the different things you can do. That's not good. Typically you hear a beep and it means something's seen you, but it could just be, it's probably just uh, that turret still. Um, like you saw earlier, it just takes one hit to die, which is not much. Um, I like to start off, I'm always glad whenever I can start off with a flashlight because it helps some of these dark rooms and stuff when you're going through. Because uh, in some, if you don't have a flashlight, it gets really hard to see. It keeps freaking me out. Um, Gun-wise, I prefer the 1911. I feel like that's got the best balance to it. It's got a good amount of stopping power to it. And, uh... It's, it's nice. Uh, this one, the Glock, I'm not a huge fan of. It doesn't seem like it stops as easily. Ah, yeah. Doesn't stop as easily. Uh... Unless you go full auto, but then you just burn through all the ammo. And the revolver I'm not a huge fan of. Just because it's a pain to reload. Alright, well I've started off with... Not a lot... Of ammo. Try and get it to where Alright, so load it up with what I had, which was only five rounds. Oh, so I've got five shots essentially. Until I can find some more ammo. Like I said, this one might be my least favorite, just because of the low ammo capacity and what a pain it is to try and reload. because uh, in order to reload you gotta dump everything out. And then you put what you want back in there. So you pretty much fire three shots. You want to go into an area fully loaded. You have to dump all your bullets out on the ground, then pick up the bullets off the ground, and then you know reload them back in there. Just a bit of a pain. Which is why I'm not a huge fan. I'm not also not a huge fan of the open areas like this. It's like it's just waiting for me to get hit. Uh, the furthest I've ever gotten was with the 1911, but, see, rooms like this where I wish I had a flashlight, because cannot see much of anything. Um, the good thing is, is that, well, I don't be able to do anything over here. Jump up. Okay, seems to be just a corner. Uh, yeah, without a flashlight, probably can't find out if there's actually anything in that room. Alright, so typically, like you've seen, starts you off randomly in the middle of a map. Um, oh yeah, in order to sprint, you have to repeatedly just press W to move. And that's uh, the game's sprint aspect. Alright, let's Start making our way, keep an eye open for any lights. Okay, so we can see there's turret's legs right there. I don't see a flying one. I'm gonna try and do. Let's get a better angle on it. And then... Oh shit. So I didn't get it lined up right. Alright, looks like I got the ammo center on it. So the camera and battery still work. So that was another two shots, so I have three shots left. So, uh, oh, there we go. Here's a, oh. Alright, so we got a flash play, and on. we got a second the rules of a car world we'll listen to that. Apply to yours, so the threat have made a careful study of listening to your thoughts. The kill drones are the result of this research. 
When confronting a kill drone, be mindful of their weak points. The main systems that can be damaged are the camera, weapon, motor, and batteries. On a kill drone turret, the batteries and motor are in the body of the weapon. The motor is directly under the turret, and the batteries behind that, near the rear. So right now he's kind of talking about what I was talking to you guys about before, specific weak where everything's located. Sure every bullet counts. Uh, it's too dark over here. Uh, but normally you can kind of see where some of the bullets have with a hammer's hit on some of them. So you gotta dump them all out and then pick them back up. And then load them in one at a time. And that's how you have to reload on them. this one if you're not fully loaded up. And it looks like we're crashing now. Always fun. Let's see if it's gonna come back or if it's gonna crash on me. Well, looks like we've crashed. Yeah. Game's completely crashed. <laughs> 